One shoelace isn't long enough to go around my waist, so I'm going to connect these two together. My Marlin spike will come in handy. I'll poke right here on my shoelace and I'll just expand the material. And now I'll take the other shoelace and I'll poke it through. I'll do the same thing again on the other side. Make a little hole, separate the material, and poke the other aglet through. So this is what it ends up looking like, and I could pull it all the way tight, but then these two shoelaces are going to be too long for my waistband. So I need to adjust this out, and I'll poke these aglets back through. All I'm gonna do is bring these two together, and I'm gonna poke this through both of them right there. One thing I don't like about this aluminum marlin spike is that it leaves trace metal on the surfaces that I work it with. So you'll see that I'll rub this through and I pull this out. You can see the aluminum rubbed off on the shoelace there. And so I am getting them made out of stainless steel and that should take care of the problem. Those samples are coming in this week. Okay, there it is on both sides. And now I can pull this as much as I want and it's not going to fall out. This is where it needs to go. And I'll use a bobby pin to help thread it through. Let's poke it into my shoelace here. There we go. I'll thread it through this first opening. Go as far as I can. And now what I'm gonna do is just do like an inchworm and start pulling it all the way through. So I'll push my bobby pin. You can see where it ends right there. I'll push it, grip onto my right hand, and then pull over with my left. Push, pull, and I'm just going to do that all the way until I get through my entire waistband. Now here at the back, I'm running into a little bit of problem because of the seam. All I'm going to do is pinch this and push it forward so that I collapse it open and then I'll run my bobby pin through. Push to collapse it open. Find that opening. There we go, I made it through. Now at the point where I need to pull my connecting section in, I'll just help feed it in. Shouldn't be a big deal. There it goes. All right, we've made it all the way through. Oh, it looks like I got a little bit of the uh, inner waistband there. Let's just poke that back in. There we go. So here I can feel the aglet. You can kind of see the impression it's making. The aglet for the joint. I need to get it through that back section that was giving me trouble earlier. Let's just pull. And I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm just going to collapse this open and work it through. There it goes. That threaded connection I did with the shoelaces there, it's going to help keep my drawstring in place. If this ever gets pulled to the point where it's starting to pull out again, well, this section back here is going to catch on to that connection and it'll help keep it in place. While we're on the subject, let me show you an alternative way to tie your drawstrings. With the left hand side, I'm going to form an ampersand, just like that. The right hand side, I'll form a loop. I'll thread it through the top, then open up my loop and go around the bottom, and then pull everything tight. And what this allows us to do is secure our drawstring but also give us an opportunity to adjust it. So I'll take my loose end here and my thumb loop, I'll hold them tight. I can tighten it up and it'll tighten up again, or I can loosen it, there we go, and it'll stay tight. When I'm all done, I'll just pull it free. There's a dedicated video for this, I'll leave it in the description. So this is pretty exciting, got the first trade in. This is from Manchester, Connecticut. At least that's the post office it went through. I won't show you the other side to protect the identity of the subscriber. Ooh, this is exciting. All 
All right. Oh, look, there's even something on it. J. Lawrence Auto Repair, Newfield, New York. So this is a cool look. We even have a pair of scissors, bottle opener, screwdriver file, little pry. Now the joke about this thing is 30 years old. Gyron would pull this out whenever someone would need a bottle opener, and then they would comment about the size of the pocket knife, and he would respond back with something like, well, it's bigger than yours. And so now I have this. Gyron, thank you so much. Your box is in the mail. This is gonna be the first addition to my drawer of trades.